Bienvenidos a mi canal, soy Mincheta y aquí estamos en un nuevo capítulo de Sherlock Holmes y un nuevo eh, eh, caso, que sería baños de sangre. En el capítulo anterior hemos terminado por fin el misterio de las vías ferroviarias y eh, vamos a empezar con uno nuevo, así que le damos a A y a ver cuál es la introducción de este nuevo caso que tendremos que resolver. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. Ooh. The temperature appears to be normal. The pupil is dilated. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. Toma el pulso durante 10 segundos. ¿Y qué tengo que que? I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I need to. ¿Y qué tengo que hacer? I need to concentrate. Oh, they okay. Oh. A weak pulse, around 50 beats per minute. Me tenía que hacer eso, madre mía. Si no me lo explican, pues cómo voy a saberlo? Por favor. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. Please. Yes. Tengo que encontrar el antidote? Don't tell me that you did ah, this vale, to no, ya lo encontró él solo. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Que ah, me está cayendo un poco Mr. Holmes, este, Inspector eh? Lestrade is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. What? Ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway, there was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. Sí, hasta que llegó el Titanic, and these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. It are rumors of corruption. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, a ver, a ver, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder, a vanishing weapon, the Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. Vale, baños de, le, de, de sta, Strand Lane. Vamos a ver qué pasa ahí. Continuamos. A ver, a ver, a ver. 
A ver qué pasa aquí. Menudo sitio pijo, ¿no? Beautiful place. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Como que, como que dese prisa. Are you able to identify the men who were with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow. El gordito. <laughs> right in the head. Parece que en este well, la cabeza. We shall see. Joder. El arma del crimen. You found no murder weapon? No. And that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. Was there anyone else here? Apart from those gentlemen in the steam room. Yes, a uh, Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Pues vamos a hablar con él. Ah, está aquí, está aquí, vale. <laughs> Joder, pensé que estaba en el quinto carajo. Vamos a hablar con nuestro primer Good testigo. Good day, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night. Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at nine o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't mm. open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up. And then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Vale, perfecto, perfecto. Lo, lo tenemos educadito a Lestrade. Vamos a ver. Pequeñas arrugas. Corten una ceja, no sé dónde... Yo no se la veo, pero vale. ¿Eh? ¿Qué pasa? ¿What? Se me está... Se me está buqueando. Que se me estaba bugueando. Vale, ¿hubo algún otro visitante? Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. What happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Mmm, hace mucho ruido. Vale, al tío ya lo tenemos calado. ¿Qué pone? Frigidarium. Frigidarium. Ese creo que es de agua fría. Éxitos, eso debe ser la salida. Y aquí. Apoditerium y sudator el sudatorium. El sudatorium, vamos a ver si podemos abrir para coger el sudatorium. Que es la sauna. 
Uy, aquí hay champán. Champagne for a special occasion. ¿Qué van a hacer? No sé, un trío, o un, cuart un cuarteto, un quinteto. Champagne ah, for a está. special occasion. Bueno, ahí está esa mina. Uh, hielo derretido. An Pero. ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Ah, vale, pues ya está, no hay más, no hay más. Qué bien. Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Igual que esta también. Vale, pues vamos a entrar en el sudarium este. Joder, si yo me los esperaba gordos y sebosos y están todos ahí fornidos los chavales. Aquel que está muerto sí que es un gordo seboso. No tiene pinta. Hostias, le quitaron un ojo, tío. Lord Holmes. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an hour ago. And let us forget about that. Vamos, vamos a examinar el cadáver. There was only one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight the cerebro. La muerte de Sir menos mal. Menos mal que fue instantánea. Solo hay herida en el rostro, vale. Hmm. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. The death is very recent, between 30 minutes to one hour ago. Depende, hace mucho calor, hace mucho calor. Barro. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Uh, mira, aquí Look, tenía un, un... he was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. No hay más que, que investigar. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes. It's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. The murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. Or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Oh, probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? un poco creído, Sherlock. Un poco bastante. Examinar sangre. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. This key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Vale, aquí no hay más que investigar. With the steam on, I'm unable si no to see even mierda. a few feet away. Joder, no ha sido una puta mierda, tío, con el... Gafas, ahí hay unas gafas. Con cristal roto, en plan popoter. One lens is cracked. Probably due to the temperature of the brazier. 
These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. Son puta pitaña. Sí, señor. The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. Vale, pues de momento no tenemos nada para coger eso. Este está manchado de sangre. It's horrible. So Rodney East, dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? Ay, ay. Era lo que quería yo, coño, examinar la sangre. Blood traces wiped on the towel. I found him. I touched his shoulder, vale. thinking that he was just asleep. Vale. It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. Mr. Holmes? The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. Wow, pues no sé. Tenemos que seguir averiguando, supongo. Habrá algo aquí. Bueno, todo esto yo solo veo. Tres ropas y ahí eran cuatro. No me lo puedo llevar y echar el agua en el brasero. Joder. Vale, vamos a ver. Vamos a hablar con este. A ver si nos puede dar algo para coger eso, eso de metal que tenemos allí. A ver, ¿qué hay de las llaves de la sala? How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. But I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. No? Mierda. Did you leave the baths at any time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Tampoco me cago en la leche. Bueno, pues vamos descartando. Did you leave the baths at any time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Telegrama. Es lo que nos queda, telegrama. Did you leave the baths? At no, sir. I did not. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's imp... I'll tell you okay. everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes. And I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform 
so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police uh, about this. Yeah, Sir Gregory yeah, would give me the sack. Sure. I need this job. I see. Qué servicio más mediocre. Vamos a ver si podemos ir al frigidarium. Oh, qué mono. What's this? Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Vale, por aquí no hay nada. Examinar estanterías. Negatives as no sé qué, 1888. Falta una. A glass plate negative is missing. A glass plate. Vale, si es para decirme eso, perfecto. Sigamos indagando. Querido amigo, el mes que viene querría organizar una conferencia de prensa en los baños romanos de Strand Lane, 1893. Fue un año destacado para mi trabajo en Egipto, eh, pero ahora es el momento de que me centre en la arqueología británica. Arrojar la luz sobre nuestros tesoros nacionales y revelarlos al público. Me gustaría que existieran tantos periodistas como fuera posible para informar acerca del evento. Espero que, espero que positivamente, si les tratamos lo bastante bien. He de encontrar... No tiene mucho sentido eso, pero bueno. He de recordar la larga amistad que me une a Lord Black... Joder, a Lord Blackmore. Y solicitar el empleo de los fondos dedicados al Real Instituto Arqueológico para sufragar este evento. Si Rodney Betick... Bet... Clive. Ben Clive. Pocos podrían afirmar que no han oído hablar del nombre de Sir Rodney Bentclyde. Es un caballero que posee la fortuna de la reputación y la energía de los mejores de su clase. Su intelecto está a la par de, con sus encantos, tal como han declarado sin cesar los jóvenes damas de la aristocracia europea. Tienen contactos poderosos en la Cámara de Lores y ejercen influencia sobre la esfera política. Hay quien diría que es implacable y autoritario. Nosotros diríamos que Sir Rodney tiene determinación y es ambicioso. Su presencia en cualquier yacimiento arqueológico solo puede significar el éxito para todos los implicados. Vale, y este otro que dice... Milagrosa reapertura de la excavación arqueológica de los baños romanos de Stenlane. Los trabajos de investigación estaban a punto de detenerse cuando llegó un salvador personificado en Sir Rodney Benclyde. Sir Rodney ha tomado, ha tomado inmediatamente el control de la excavación y afirma que en el lugar encierra la clave de un gran misterio. Mantendremos informados a nuestros lectores a medida que nos lleguen noticias al respecto. Bueno, vale. Bueno. Documento. Esta placa de metal, al margen de su interés arqueológico, parece formar parte de algo. Por el momento no he sido capaz de determinar qué exactamente. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Hmm, nos la llevamos por si acaso. Venga. Total. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Vale. Vamos a examinar aquí a ver qué hay. Ah, mira, es, esto nos hace falta. I will falta. need these tongs. Esto nos hace falta. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. Vale, ya está mirado todo. Ahora sí podemos coger, eh, podemos ir a los baños. Pero antes quiero ver el frigidario este, cómo es. Por cotillear un poco, ¿sabes? A que no me deja. Me he metido donde no tenía que meterme. What the fuck? Vale, 
Vale, Are you vale. I wonder how this could have happened. <coughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <coughs> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium, the coal room. Yeah, Barely so unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Qué fuerte, casi morimos aplastados. Con la parsimonia que tiene este ya de sí encima, como para morir aplastados. Vale, vamos a coger el trozo de metal y vamos a terminar el capítulo ahí por hoy. Éxito mm, mm, será este. Vale. A ver si ya hemos cogido eso. Estos siguen aquí en plan paños menores. Vale. Ah, tenía que mantener pulsando la. Que a veces es un poco tontuna esto. Vale, vamos a ver. Pues lo dicho, me, porque me voy a enrollar más y no puede ser. Vamos a dejar aquí el capítulo por hoy, porque así vamos siguiendo, ya hemos in, eh, recogido todas las pistas que podíamos recoger aquí y ahora tenemos que ir uniéndolas poco a poco. Así que espero que os haya gustado el vídeo, si es así dadle a like y suscribiros y nos vemos en el siguiente, así que besitos.